You know, as you think about patients with AF, um, AF is a progressive disease. And so um, as patients age, as patients get multiple comorbidities, you're going to see the, the prevalence of AF just increase over time for patients. The great thing about it is we have great technologies that, you know, treat patients really, really safely. And we also know that the earlier you treat patients, the better off they're going to be and the better outcomes that they're going to have with treatment of ablation, especially um, with our study with cryoballoon. So as, as we think about our portfolio across Medtronic, and one of the, the important things about Afera is that it has a mapping and navigation system. And that's a gap that we've had in our portfolio for quite some time. And as, as we treat more patients with complex arrhythmias, it's really important for the physician to be able to see where the catheter is and where they've ablated. And Afera has a really unique um, system to be able to do that. In addition to that, it has you know, multiple catheters and, and the, the Sphere 9 catheter itself is a combination of RF, PFA, and also a diagnostic catheter. So the beauty of that, along with our portfolio of other tools, gives us a full suite of, of technologies that, that we can use to treat patients with all arrhythmias. So as we thought about Afera and, and bringing it into our total portfolio products in Medtronic, what we were really excited about was the differentiated nature of that catheter and the entire system. So if you think about the fact that it has mapping and navigation, it has PFA, it has RF, it also has a diagnostic catheter, which we don't have. I think all of that brought together with the great tools that we have with cryoablation and diamond temp and our own pulse select system, we're very excited that all of those pieces come together to really deliver the entire set of tools that any physician would need to treat patients um, with an arrhythmia. On top of that, when we saw this technology in Prague um, just over a year ago, the excitement and the enthusiasm that we saw from physicians around how this product worked, how it was seamless in the lab at such an early stage um, in its technology and its development, it really made us um, stand up and, and take notice that this was a technology that would fit into our portfolio and, and really make a difference for patients. And so we couldn't be more thrilled to have Afera and, and Daron Harlov and his whole team um, as part of the Medtronic family. And so certainly Daron, we're, we're, we couldn't be more thrilled to have Daron as, as part of our team. And, you know, he's been an innovator for a very, very long time and been very successful in this space. And I, I certainly couldn't claim to understand what's going on in Daron's head. However, what I will say is that, you know, as he talks about this technology, he talks about it in a way that you know, they were laser focused on how do they make this product work really well for physicians. So not only creating better outcomes for patients, but just making it fun for physicians to use and, you know, making it really seamless for physicians to use during a procedure. And, and I think a couple of things related to that. One is the catheter itself, the Sphere 9, can do RF, PFA, and be a diagnostic. And, you know, all that put together makes it much more straightforward as you're thinking about how do I want to ablate and treat a patient? I don't have to change a catheter in order to make a change in my treatment strategy, which I think is, is going to be enormously helpful for physicians as they go forward. In addition to that, he said that he's been meticulous about the handling of catheters. So many, many, many iterations and conversations with physicians to really get it right. Because when you're inside the heart, you want to be able to maneuver that catheter in a way um, that's simple and straightforward and, and ultimately treats patients better and, and um, returns better outcomes. So just a bit about the, the Sphere 9 trial. This trial is being run um, about 400 patients one-to-one -one randomized the Sphere 9 catheter to uh, smart touch. And we're looking forward to the outcome of that trial. So the primary endpoints will be safety and efficacy um, post the 90-day blanking period. So um, pretty standard, typical trial. We're excited to see the results of that. We do expect it to be fully enrolled um, late this calendar year, or early next with one year follow-up post that. So I think the acquisition of Afera, along with the other items that we have in our portfolio, whether it's Cryo, Diamond Temp, or the left heart access tools from Acutis that we just purchased as well, I think at, at the end of the day, you know, certainly it's most important for the patients to have a great outcome. And the combination of things where you don't have to do exchanges for multiple catheters, you can um, manage that patient in an efficient way that the physician has all the tools that they need um, from Medtronic in order to treat a patient, I think will just really um, provide a better outcome in the long run for patients. 
So I think the most important thing for patients is to make sure that they feel safe um, when they have this procedure and that they can get in early to get the procedure. We know the outcomes are better. And so if we can get to those patients, get them treated early, get them treated with the tools um, that we have in our portfolio, I think those patients are going to be much more successful. Of course, we'll have to continue to study. This is a space. I mean, EP is very complicated and there's a lot to be learned, whether that's VT or, you know, ultimate treatment strategies for patients who recur. Those are areas that we're continuing to study and looking at the science. But at the end of the day, um, getting patients in early for treatment with, with great tools, I think is, is, the, is the right place to be. 